Coach, what does Deontay Smith bring to the table, and was his uh, injury in 2020 a concern at all? No. Uh, for, uh, I'll ask your first question first. He brings length and athleticism. He's got 35-inch arms. Uh, he's a really nimble nimble athlete, great feet. Um, you know, he's he's got all the traits you, you would look for in a tackle, and he's a true tackle. And uh, when you get to this point in the draft, you, you're trying to find traits that uh, that translate and things you can work with. And uh, you can't teach those things, you know, 35 inch arms and, and athleticism are things that guys possess uh, naturally. And it's not something you can really just uh, make somebody longer. So uh, really excited about that part of his game. Um, and then the injury wise, no, we had no, we had no concerns. Uh, everything checked out for us. Did the week that he had at the senior bowl uh, confirm your suspicion about his ability to play he had a pretty strong week, didn't he? He had a really, really nice week down the Senior Bowl. Uh, I thought there was a couple of guys that stood out uh, as I was watching. I spent most of my time down there watching the uh, offensive line, and um, the two guys that stood out the most to me were, uh, you know, guys that, that fit for us were uh, were him and then Sample at the end we just took. Those guys that watched those guys down there, they just flashed, um, and that's probably the best way to put it. Uh, he flashed. He flashed all the things you like to see in a tackle. And uh, is a guy that I think that I'm really excited about adding uh, to the competition of that group. Coach, when you look at your uh, full complement of, of players on the offensive side of the ball, the draft, returning players from injuries, and, and just the players returning, do you feel like you have everything you need to accomplish what you want next year? Uh, absolutely. I, I love what we have on our roster on offense right now. Uh, and I'm really, really excited uh, about what we, could, we can do. Uh, I think we got a great set of, of really core young players. You had Jamar Chase into that mix. Now you have an element of explosiveness. I've, you know, Joe Mixon is, is to me, one of the best backs in football. Um, you bring in Riley Reef as a veteran tackle. You bring in Deontay as a, as a guy that you're trying to get developed. And you got great competition there with Fred and Isaiah Prince. Um, and, and Carmen Jackson jumps inside. Now you got great competition inside. Uh, there's there's a, a bunch of guys in there that, that I feel really good about. Um, I think our team is, is in a much better place now than it was uh, even a year ago. And I'm really excited about the direction that, that we can go. And obviously, uh, the core of it all centers around number nine. So uh, that's that's exciting to me. Thank Ryan, you. how concerned were you that, that a guy like Deontay with those long arms? It's, it's kind of rare in this draft. A, a lot of the uh, college tackles have shorter arms. How concerned were you that he might not make it to where he did? Uh, you know, we, we had we had some pretty good grades on him uh, going into the to this to this day. We thought that he'd be someone we'd be targeting uh, early, and you never know with with how other teams see him, especially in this draft with where the where the rest of the offensive line ranked across the league. Um, there was a, a variance of opinions as as you talk to guys, you know. Um, so there was always a chance that, that he could go pretty quickly just because of the of his physical traits that, that you that you have. And those guys don't usually last really long uh, when it comes down to it. And, um, you know, we were thrilled that he was there. Uh, but when he was, we had a chance to get two really good players on defense uh, on the interior. And uh, and he was there for that third pick. And then we couldn't have been happier. It was exactly uh, the right place for him. Two more minutes. Brian, since we've got some time here in the fifth, there, it's been, there's been a lot of fun chatter. Like I've been wrapped up in conversations about arm length. Mm -hmm. uh, how much does that matter uh, when you're talking about, you know, you know for offensive tackles? What, what's your take on, on what length is required to play offensive tackle in the NFL? Um, it's a good question. Uh, ultimately, I think you're going to find guys that can succeed uh, over their history uh, with, the, you know, in the 33-inch range. I think you start dipping under 30, 33 inches as a tackle. You, you lack the length to recover on the edge. Guys get into your chest uh, and you get the pocket collapse. That's generally where the, the biggest parts of it are is, is they don't have the ability to stick their arm out and keep a guy off them. Uh, and especially with those, some of those defensive ends, they, they give you that long arm speed to power move. It's hard to get them off you if you don't got long enough length to match it. Um, I will say you can match 33-inch arms with length of your technique, and that it goes a long way as well. Uh, so it's not a it's not a total failure if you have 33 inch arms, um, but when you see guys with 35 and 36 inch arms, you you see the difference on tape. Uh, you see their ability to recover faster, uh, their ability to get people off of them, um, and and be able to to create the space between the quarterback and the, and the rush. So uh, it, it does matter. It's a factor. Last question. 
Brian, you're obviously the the offensive coordinator, not the special teams coordinator, but uh, points matter on offense, obviously. How exciting is it that uh, you land a kicker like Evan McPherson? Uh, I mean, just as an offensive uh, offensive coach, you're, you're especially with guys that can hit from long distance. You, I was fortunate. I was with Matt Prater in Denver and Detroit, and I think Matt Prater is one of the best uh, kind of plus 50 kickers in football over the last couple of years. And uh, it was a huge difference when, when your field goal range uh, – started creeping closer to the 40 yard line and 35. And um, that does make a difference. And at the end of the day, you know, you're, if you can move yourself into scoring position when a game that matters, a kicker, kickers can win you games. Um, and so anytime we add players that can help us win games uh, immediately, I think is, is a great thing for us all the way around. And uh, you know, kickers don't, kickers get much maligned. And I think it, when you get a chance to, to win games and you win a few of them, uh, those guys show up. It's just, just kind of the way it goes for, for specialists, but man, any guy that can, that can score points for us, I'm all for.